Hi guys, so the admission portal for M-Tech program in IIT Bombay, as you know, is now open. And not only for IIT Bombay, it's getting open for several IITs. Uh, you know, day, day by day, we are getting the updates. Uh, and uh, at this point of time, once also the results are out, you know, the ga and gate scores are out, you know uh, how much you have scored, what is your marks and what is your rank. So you would be wondering which IIT, IIC, which I should be applying and which I should not be applying. So, and of course, the idea comes based on the cutoffs. Okay, so what is the cutoff trend for IIT Bombay? So, uh, you know, I have collected some data, okay, uh, consolidated for the last four years, that is admission uh, from 2021 to 2024. Okay, uh, this year we are going to take the admission for academic year 2025-26. So, I have taken the data from 21 to 24 last four years so that the entire trend is a little bit clear to us. Okay, so in this video we will be talking about, uh, you know, uh, all the specializations of electrical engineering. I mean, of course, uh, in IIT Bombay, many students are thinking there is no direct VLS. I mentioned it, it is of course, they, they name it as integrated electronics and circuits. Okay, so, uh, you know, and it, it's a direct admission process. So, let's talk about one by one. Okay, there is no interview this year as well for the IIT Bombay. Okay, so, uh, you know, all of these courses under electrical engineering department and double E6 course. Okay, I'm starting with the favorite choice of the students. I mean, usually where toppers would be preferring is integrated circuits and systems. Okay, which you can, you know, equivalent, uh, you know, is like a microelectronics and VLSI course. Okay, so, uh, you know, 2024, the cutoff for general, interestingly, was, uh, you know, 1000. Okay, and I have included all general EWS, OBC, and uh, OBC, NC, non creamy layer, SC, ST, and PWD. Okay, so uh, for 2023, uh, it was 613. Okay, on a surprising tone low, but normally this is 867, 912. Now, normally, if I give you an idea that you know, IIT Bombay, if you are planning to apply for integrated circuits and systems, and since it's a direct admission, no interview, so I would recommend that if you have score 800 plus, you can still look for applying it, although. At 800 plus, you're not sure to get it. Okay. And, and I, you know, even uh, the specializations that I have written is as per, uh, you know, you more or less, you can say as per the priority when you're filling up the form. Okay. What specialization you should target more? Of course, it further depends on your particular score as well. Okay. But if you have a good score, let's say general category 800 plus, I think you can take a, a chance to apply it. Okay. But yeah, many a times it, it closes at 900 plus score. Many a time it closes at 900 plus score, but 800 plus it's, it's worth applying it. Okay. It's worth applying it. Uh, if I talk about general EWS, there isn't much difference. So I will not, you know, specify anything separately, but yeah, if it is OBC non creamy layer, 750 plus could be a safe one to apply for this integrated circuits and systems. Okay. Uh, if you talk about SC, if you have score in the range 550 plus and for ST, 450 plus is a safe call to apply. Okay, right. And PWD again, it depends on the number of aspirants, uh, you know, turning up. But yeah, okay, here 350 plus also could be a safe one. Coming to the next one uh, in electronic systems. Okay, uh, as far as my interaction with the students, the placements are decent. So I've kept it at number two, the electronic systems at IIT Bombay. Okay, uh, since uh, even you know lot many years the placement has been good because this is not a newly introduced uh, branch it is it is a category long back okay so again 2023 only is the exceptional year where the score the cutoff went very low 842 otherwise normally it is 800 uh, 822 but i will still recommend okay on a safer side yes you can take a chance if your score is 750 plus in uh, general okay uh, you know you can take a call not not very much difference in case of ews as well okay obc non creamy layer if you have you know 700 plus you can apply to it okay all the four years cutoff are written so that is indicative i need not read all of them okay but yeah i have brought all the data so that you get a clear cut idea okay what has been happening okay if you talk about uh, sc so i would recommend you know 500 plus would be a safe one to take a call for st 400 plus is a good one okay now uh now uh, pwd of course you know for 350 plus also you can uh, fill up this okay now coming to the next is now Next, third category based on your branch. Suppose if your core branch is electrical. Now, because these days, whether your branch is electrical or electronics, majorly, uh, you know, because of the ample amount of uh, opportunities and the placement criteria, whether it is electrical student or electronic students, they will first prefer the VLSI related branch that is integrated circuits and systems. Okay. Next also, I have kept as electronic systems. Okay. The next one, uh, you know, if you are electrical, if you are core electrical, your third preference could be power electronics and power system. Or if you are core EC student, your third preference will be communication. Okay. Uh, you know, unless and until you are very much inclined. Okay. Suppose there's a double E student, I would not recommend going for communication. 
okay or uh, similarly ec student i will not much recommend going into power electronics and power systems again if you are inclined and if you have interest in that area you can go that's an exception but normally that's what i don't advise it okay so if if you talk about double e okay although ec can also apply but i'll i'll recommend this for double e core students okay so looking into the cutoff trends again 2023 uh, it was lower side but for this particular branch okay 750 plus is a very safe call okay Right, yeah, it can be, you know, sometimes as close as 850, but 750 plus if you have the gate score, go and, uh, you know, fill up the IIT Bombay Power Electronics and Power Systems, okay. Specifically, I'm talking about double E students. More or less, very similar trend for uh, general EWS. For OBC non premium layer, of course, I will put it as 700 plus. Okay, uh, for SC, uh, looking into the trends, for SC, I will put it as 450 plus as a safe call. And for ST, okay, uh, this has been exception, but, you know, for ST, if your score is, I would recommend 400 plus also go and fill it up. Okay, you can you you can have the chances. Okay, for PWD, okay, again you know somewhere 350 to 400. If you have the score, you can try for this branch. Coming to EC now, if if you are core EC student, the double E one course that is communication engineering. Okay, uh, that you that is what you can apply, and the safe score easily 700 or even you know 650 to 700 or anything plus that. Okay, you can apply. Okay, you have quite chance that if your score is 650 plus, also you'll most likely get that you know considering general category okay for obc non creamy layer i would say the safe call would be 600 plus okay the numbers are written in front of you okay for sc uh, you know i would still say the safe call at 400 plus for st i would put it as 350 plus okay pwd again okay uh, 350 plus i think is a safe call okay Moving ahead, uh, you know, to solid state devices. Okay. Now, next, the two, next two specialization, double E7 and double uh, E2 control and computing. Uh, it depends, you know, it depends on your interest area. I am not here to prioritize any one of them. Okay. So, as far as priority is concerned, I have, you know, firstly put it as integrated circuits and system. Okay. Next, I have put as electronic systems. Next, I have put for double E, power electronics and power system. And if you're an EC student, communication engineering. Now, next, it depends on your interest area. If you're interested in solid state devices, you can have this next chance. Or if you're interested in control systems, the study around control systems and computing, you can have this one. Okay. So, you know, both, both are good courses. Both are good courses. Okay. So, uh, you know, solid state devices. Okay. Uh, you know, 700 plus again could be a safe score. A 700 plus could be a safe score, uh, you know, uh, to apply for this. Okay, that is what the numbers are even suggesting. The last year, immediate last year, the cutoff was 692. Okay, uh, general EWS more or less, uh, you know, maybe 650 also uh, can be considered. For OBC non creamy layer, okay, 600 plus I will put it for this particular branch. Okay, last year it was 573, so 600 plus you can, uh, you know, take this call. Okay, uh, SC last year 449, but in general it is close to 5, 450 and also 450 plus. Okay, for ST category 400 plus is something that you can apply. Last year it was 410 and PWD, I uh, have the data only for one year. Okay, so I'll just go with that particular reference. Okay, numbers year by year go up and down. Okay, based on the PSU vacancies as well. There's a lot of role of, you know, because what usually is happening, you know, sometimes several toppers are preferring the PSUs and uh, uh, they don't accept the offer. They fill it up, but don't, they don't accept the offer. Okay. So the final number year on year, it varies because of the number of PSU vacancies as well. Okay. Uh, and then as I told you, either out of solid state device or control and computing, what you need to put, you know, both are having decent placement. So based on your interest zone, you can pick up, pick it up. Okay. For control and computing, I would suggest, you know, like last year it was 628, 628, 21, it went to 730 also. But yeah, 650 plus, if you have, you have the chance of filling it up, right? the chance of getting the admission in control and computing. IIT Bombay, on, of course, any of the branches uh, is good only. Okay. Uh, general EWS, you know, more or less similar trend, you can call it a 600 little bit reduction uh, can be there. OBC non creamy layer, 550 plus. Okay, you, you know, you, you may like last year it went to 527. Okay, but uh, normally I will say for this particular branch, you know, as far as, you know, overall experience, uh, my, my experience of IIT Bombay for the past many years, 550 plus should be a safe call for OBC non creamy uh, control and computing. Okay, for SC, 400 plus I will put it up last year it went to 387 okay for ST I'll put 350 plus as a safe one okay for PWD as well 350 plus can be a thing to take a call on to right dear okay so uh, these are the six specializations under the electrical engineering department under the electrical engineering department just a second.
okay so uh, uh the the idea of bringing this video was to give you the cutoff okay these are the cutoffs that i have obtained for the last four years okay of course you know you can look into the previous immediate years okay so now uh, you know you can you, ha you have seen the video you can take the screenshot or you can note down the cutoff as as and when you like okay so you know you can check it out for all of the particular branches correct uh, all of the particular specialization okay I have spoken about, uh, you know, the sequence also in a way, the, pri the preference order of filling up the specializations in a way. Okay. Right, guys. So, uh, that's it uh, from my side. This was a small video to bring up all uh, the cutoff uh, scores of the IIT Bombay for the last uh, four years. Okay. Uh, so, uh, similarly, like, like we have, I've already brought the video for IIC Bangalore and as and when I am collecting the data, I'll bring it for, you know, other IITs also like IIT Delhi, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Kanpur, IIT Madras, etc. I'll try to bring up more and more uh, such informative videos for you. Okay, dear. So, thank you. This is Rakesh Talvaja signing off and uh, thank you and all the very best for all your MTech admission process.